what I one director that I think is pretty interesting is Rupert Wyatt. Now, for a lot of people out there, when I say that name, you're wondering who exactly are you talking about? Who is that director? He's actually the guy who did Rise of the Planet of the Apes, a very well known movie, considering that. It was a big success when it came out, critically and commercially. And more importantly, it launched this new Planet of the Apes trilogy that has gone on to be very successful. A lot of people would say it's one of the best trilogies ever made. So I found it very interesting that when I looked up this guy, Rupert Wyatt, to see what did he direct before Rise of the Planet of the Apes. It's like, wow, he really didn't do much before he made that movie. Because... His first film was called The Escapist, which came out in 2008. It premiered at the Sundance Film Festival. And let's see here. 2008 drama thriller. Um, was it well received? And it has a 64% on Rotten Tomatoes, so fresh, but only barely fresh. Therefore, the reception was kind of lukewarm. And thus, it, that movie certainly, definitely did not leave as big of a splash. And then, in 2011, he did a much film that was a much bigger deal, Rise of the Planet of the Apes. It's part of a long-running franchise, first in a new trilogy. It was very well received. Let's see here. has an 82% on Rotten Tomatoes. It was a success at the box office. There... It got, the movie got numerous awards and nominations. And then it's followed by two more movies that really were even more successful than this film. So I think it it's interesting. They have this guy, Rupert Wyatt, who did pretty much nothing before, right, before Rise of the Planet of the Apes. Like he only did one, he only did one movie a few years back that... Got Luke, the was received in a lukewarm way. It didn't really leave as much of a mark or an impact. And then he did a movie that was a much bigger deal Rise of the Planet of the Apes. And then after Rise came out, he hasn't really done much, also. And in 2019, he did a sci fi film called Captive State. Oh, sci-fi thriller. Let's see. It got uh, that one underperformed at the box office and got mixed reviews from critics. Uh, let's see. It only has a forty-four percent of Rotten Tomatoes. That's rotten. And then, aside from Captive State, Rupert Wyatt has not done much else other than directing the first two episodes of the television adaptation of The Mosquito Coast in twenty twenty-one. He was also an executive producer on the series. That's it. The Mosquito Coast is a trauma show. Um, let's see. What was the reception like? Um, okay, the show is a 63% of Rotten Tomatoes. Once again, lukewarm. So, Rise of the Planet of the Apes is the one big thing Rupert Wyatt has done. Aside from that, his other things have not really been received all that well. So I think it's... Pretty interesting, honestly.